Hey, hey, hey there, everybody. Zelda Savior here, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. In the last episode, we began the sixth world, Monkey Mines, and made it to the third stage after much difficulty and frustration. So let's kick things off today by heading into the Misty Mine. Say it in a mysterious voice. It appears we have to deal with more of these baddies spewing barrels again. Oh, joy. But how are you, you all doing today in this creepy dark mine of sorts? I am doing swell. I'm so happy, friends. Do you, you know why I am so happy? I am not actually that happy, but I do go back to school soon, and so I am feeling the dreaded back to school year blues. I'm sure many of you are feeling that as of right now, but alas, my friends, it's something we all must get used to and all must have to deal with. One thing I actually do want to say while we are completing the last couple levels of the game, because I do plan on having this episode be the last episode in which, um, what was I going to say? We complete some of the last levels of the world for the last episode will be the next one, the finale, friends. Yes, this is the last formal episode of Donkey Kong Country. Oh, let's get hit by a baddie, but we find a bonus. Baddie's bonus is alliteration at its finest. So let's grab K. Oh. And, and let's kick things at the end with a little G. Spell Kong, get a one up, and grab the most useless animal friend ever, Expresso. Expresso, I, I hate you, you're not my friend. For you're impossible to control and just frustrating, and I don't want you. See, that's, see, that's, 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 that's how much I care about you. I am willingly abandoning you in the middle of this mine, and I, mm, I jumped on you, sir. I jumped on you. How dare you defy my jump? Anyway, as I was trying to say, this is going to contain the last. This is that. This this video is going to contain the last three levels of the world that we are currently in, in addition to the boss. And in the last episode, which is the next one, we will f face off with King K. Rule himself, hopefully defeating him for once and for all. But anyway. So, actually, what I was trying to get to with that whole point to begin with was, I actually spent, um, because I said before at the beginning of this project, this was not going to be a 100% run, not in the slightest, for I have no idea where any of these, uh, bonus levels are. However, I spent the time practicing and finding some of the bonus levels so I could at least say we know where some of them are. Let's go with a random one. Okay, we're going Winky. We're going Winky Frog this time. Okay, there we go. And last but not least, let's grab the last Winky token. And let's see, did we get... No, we did not have any Winky tokens, therefore we go wasting that bonus. Anyway. But yes, I found some of the bonuses. Not all... I might be able to have found all of them in the last three uh, levels, but we shall see. I did my best. I'm not 100% confident I know where they all are, but I found them uh, the other day. So let's see if I can remember. Actually, matter of fact, wasn't there a DK barrel? Oh, I already went back. Stupid me, I got the DK barrel. I didn't... Oh, hello, Army Dillo. Oh, Army Dillos, what are you doing? Oh, oh god, oh god, Army Dillos, what are you doing? What are you doing to me, Army Dillos? Oh god. Oh god, they're everywhere. They're everywhere! They're rolling all over me, Captain. Oh, oh, what the do? Snakes. Python, Cobra, snakes. <laughs> Curses. Anyway, one last go before I cut to that part of the level, so you guys don't have to watch me beat this entire thing over again. Hopefully I'll be able to do it in one more try, see if we don't have to go to those extremes. Beaver bouncing for days. Oh my goodness, how many beavers are there gonna be? Oh, but... Oh, did I... Oh, I got a one-up from that. That's awesome. Holy crap. I've never actually gotten a one-up from bouncing on enemies in this game before. I know in most side-scrolling uh, platformers, like as this one, there is the, uh, the the classic jump on a million bajillion bad guys on the head, and you get a one-up for that, but I've never actually done that in Donkey Kong Country before, considering there's not that many uh, instances in where there's that many bad guys. However, these army dillos are rather annoying. Probably the most one of the most annoying enemies in this game, if I do say so myself, but... Oh, see how that's played. That is what I'm talking about. They roll backwards and they just poop on your head, man. It is. Oh, snakes. I will not fall for your tricks. For your sneaky, dastardly tricks. This time around, because there's the exit. Make it back for it. Woohoo! There we go. Misty Mine is defeated. Alrighty, let's move on. Oh, I did complete the level two. There's the. um... If I haven't pointed this out yet, I'm going to point this out in the last world, in the last actual level episode of this LP. If the level ends with an exclamation mark, it means you found all the bonuses in it. I don't think I ever announced that formally. So there we go, we do it now. Anyway, let's move on to Loopy Lights. Oh, God. 
This probably is one of my least favorite levels in the game, as you can clearly tell. We have to deal with these on and off barrels. Um, I'll just show an example of what it looks like when it's off, just so you can get a... Yeah, you can't really see much at all about Kenya, so you gotta hit these barrels and deal with these bouncing freaking uh, Kremlin things that follow you. But anyway, the first bonus of the level is right down there, not hidden well at all, but let's have our lights on for when we blast through this bonus, and there we go. Loopy lights, oh, how I hate you so much. You and your looping lights, just looping all over my face right now. That sounded suggestive in a slightly sexual manner, but... I don't, oh, don't jump off the level. Oh, thank you. It's just so annoying because there's some time they like deliberately time the lights in a pad a manner so that you have to do like the last little portion of a jump without the lights on, making it harder for you to do so. So you're going to be doing some leaps of faith. But there we go. Goodness, and also having to jump each platform, expecting that one of these purple jumping Kremlins is just going to pop in your face just like that and make your day a living nightmare. There, anyway, there's the checkpoint barrel, so already halfway through the level, but gets much harder from here on out, friends. The first half is pretty easy. Nice, let's hit this barrel again so we can see things. Grab this barrel so we can see things. Jump on this guy so we can see him. Deal with all these bouncing... Oh my... That's what I'm talking about, friends. This is probably one of the most annoying levels in the game. In fact, like the last three levels are just all really frustrating to deal with. Um... This one in particular, this has to be, after playing it for a couple times, this has to be my least favorite level in the game. The gimmick in this level just does not make me happy. I just don't like it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rare. I'm sorry, Rare, Rare, but I just don't like your, uh... Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, yes, we did it. We did it. Oh, my gosh, we did that. That's amazing. There's the bonus. There was a vulture up there who typically, uh breaks the uh, the barrel you use to get this bonus but luckily for us we managed to be able to get there without any difficulty which was surprising hmm i think that's a sign of things things to come for the rest of this level maybe uh one more only a, oh oh there we go maybe only one more try don't jinx myself maybe we could be this level without having to do it another time that'd make me a happy happy man the happiest of mans the happiest of apes the happiest of monkeys per se considering who we are playing as Oh, whoa, a little slow down there. That's kind of unfortunate. Leap of faith. There we go. Oh, God. Now we have to deal with a, a hideous Kong relative jump. Oh, my gosh. That was perfect. Oh, my God. That was probably the best I've ever done that. Grab the bananas between on that platform. And this is the most... That. That is the most devious thing in the level. They put a single one of those clap traps there so that you can just see it in sight and then lose it all if you don't have two Kongs. That definitely got me the first time I did this level, and I hated them for it. Anyway, we are 66% done the game. Um, like I said, no 100%, but maybe if I feel possessed to do it in the future? Who knows? Anyway, let's begin platform peril with... Oh my god, okay, look at this, look at this, look at this. How do I get to the bonus? How do I get, how do I get down there? Look at this, look at this. How could you figure this out? How could you figure that out? That is impossible. How could you have known that there was going to be a platform there to take you to the bonus? I'm just, I'm just dumbfounded. That was just... That one is just the sneakiest thing I think this game does. Is this game in particular just this, ah, just such just devious things with their bonus levels. They just put them in the most difficult of places. Well, there we go. We got another one up. We're going to need it for the final encounter. So I guess we should stock up on them now. Anyway, puts us here. Oh God, more armadillos. Armadillo, get out of my face. Thank you for dying. Alrighty. Now, the theme of this level, Platform Peril, is dealing with these, okay, well firstly, dealing with the big fat guys, DK, not Diddy, because he can't touch them unless he cartwheels into them. Yes, I learned that you can cartwheel into the things and they still die. And somehow I magically get hit by that bee, okay, that's cool, game, I really appreciate you telling me that I died there, even though I'm pretty confident that I avoided that thing pretty, pretty vigorously. But anyway, we don't have to get the bonus for when you get one bonus, you get them all. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Ooh, that was that was precarious and the that was that was ah, yeah, there you go. That was a pretty precarious situation there. That's a good way to deal with those guys. So the barrel out. Get all three for the price of stones. Kill three stones for the price of birds. Once again, I think Diddy can only make that jump, considering I Oh my god, you army doofuses. You army dingus, what are you doing in my life? Taking them from me, that's what you're doing. You're taking my lives from me. I don't appreciate that. 
All right, we'll start cutting soon enough because, once again, don't want to make you guys watch me die all this much, considering this is the last level in the game. You would expect it to be challenging. There we go. That's how you're supposed to deal with those bad guys. With Diddy. But yes, my friends, it is almost over. The last episode, this in particular episode, I think is going to be getting put up um, after uh, episode 37 of Pikmin because I want to finish this game off first before I end with the Pikmin 2 finale. So you expect to see the finale to this game. Uh, 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 talking about projects while trying to jump is not conducive to success. Alrighty. Alright, I'm just gonna, actually, I'm just gonna cut to that one jump, guys. I'll meet you back there in a moment. Alright, I don't exactly remember where that jump was, so we're just gonna start from here. Alright, oh, there we go. I think that actually was the perfect place for that. I didn't even need to think about it that much already. Ah, I think that was the jump, actually, that did us in. There we go. Anyway, we're still here. We're still talking. We're still jamming. Oh, we're still jiving. We're still going. We're still living. There we are. Save these barrels. Diddy is infinitely better at dealing with these guys than DK is because he holds the barrels out in front of him, which is slightly more, I guess, desirable than, per se, DK. He holds them over his head. But there's our checkpoint barrel. But as I was saying when I died, um, yes, expect to see the, um, the finale to DKC before the finale to Pikmin 2, for I want to finish this game off first. But both of those finales will be up fairly soon. And then we can start on something fresh. And no, no, no! I forgot that jump! No! That's the jump you have to roll ahead with Diddy or just jump on him with DK. Here, we're just gonna do it with some DK because I always freaking forget that that jump puts you in front of one of those big fat guys and Diddy can't jump on him, so. Ugh, the fatness! But anyway, I've had enough of these beavers on. I've had it with these beavers on my platforms. There's too much beavers going on my platforms, and there we go. That's how you do it with those fat guys. Those fat guys. Anyway, more beavers on platforms. Beavers on beavers on beavers on platforms. Once again, up over this guy, and here. Ooh, this begins the trickiest part of the level. Needing to throw the barrels on the platforms that appear to kill the, uh, the larger crushes that you cannot defeat with any of the Kongs, so you gotta throw and then jump. You gotta jump and then grab, and then turn and then throw, and then jump, and then jump again, and fall, and then throw, and then jump, and oh, this is so devious. But luckily, I'm very skilled at this for some whatever reason. Anyway, oh, here it gets tricky, here it gets tricky, here it gets tricky, here it gets tricky. We're gonna ignore that. And we're, oh, oh, no, wait, no, no, oh my god, no! That's where the bonus is! Oh my god, but further in supporting the fact that that bonus is this game is so devious this is one of the more devious bonus games in the donkey Kong country series then again i haven't really done super extensive runs of the game oh my god with large amounts of bonus finding then again uh i think that might need to be done in my future considering how much i love this series but, oh my goodness get away from me ami dingus get away from me don't like you beavers beavers on beavers on beavers Whew. But anyway, as I was discussing earlier, I feel like I should be talking about stuff that is more important than jumping on beavers. I mean, seriously, man. Beavers are not that- Oh, God! No, no, no! Oh, wow. I made that jump without having to freak out about it. I almost forgot. Actually, I did, I did forget. What am I saying? I forgot everything. But you can't forget everything some of the time, but you can- Wait, what? You can forget- I'm just trying to see some stupid friends. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Hello, beaver. You're not a beaver. You're a bee. Close enough. Here we go, start this part of the level again, there we go, jump. And this time we're gonna make it to that bonus platform down there. One of the sneakier bonuses I think is in this game. Considering how the heck are you supposed to know that thing was even there to begin with without even like risking your life to jump and to make that? That is insane, man. That is just bloody insane. There we go, we'll grab Kong this time around and we're gonna fall slowly, and then I'm gonna jump! And we made the bonus, there we go! We found all the bonuses, actually. That's the only two, only two in the last three worlds. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna grab, actually no, we're gonna guess and get this one right, because it kind of makes you have to, uh, guess. Because you have to wait to watch it spin around in circles a bunch. But anyway, there we go, we completed the bonus It makes us so happy, yeah. Awesome sauce, amigos, there we go! 
defeated Platform Perils. Flee to that as well. And let's uh, let's save off right here just because we can. Hello, slutty Kong. Let me jump in your barrel one last time. Here we go. <laughs> we had 69% of the game completed. Anyway, let us end things off with Neki's Revenge. Oh, God. I thought we had enough of Neki's nuts. I guess we didn't. Alrighty, Neki. For the one and final time, I have had enough of your nuts in my face. Stop spitting them at me. Goodness. And this boss is slightly odd. I think you have to jump on him a certain number of times before he finally registers the hit. I think. I don't really know. I just keep jumping until I see him do that. Oh, do that. Meaning I hit him. Oh, that's a very high Neki. Oh, there you go. He lowers himself a little bit. Oh, we're gonna oh. Oh, wow. What? Whoa! Neki! You're letting yourself go there, miss. That was an incredibly easy fight. Neki, I am severely disappointed in you. You did not try hard enough. Anyway, friends! There we have it. Gangplank Galleon. In the next episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country, the finale, the showdown with King K. Rule himself, Gang Plank Galleon. We will wrap things up in the next episode, the finale, my friends. If you haven't done so already, feel free to follow me on Twitter or add me on Skype, either or, make me the happiest monkey in the barrel. And with that, friends, I will see you all in the last episode of Donkey Kong Country. I hope you are all having a fantastic day.